Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here to do a spoiler-tastic unboxing of the advent calendar from Diamond Art Club. It's December 1st, I feel like we are really kicking off the holiday season and I've managed to wait to get into this until today and thought why not kick off the month with a really really fun unboxing. So this is the first year Diamond Art Club has done advent calendars and while unfortunately this one sold out within an hour or two of release, I am very much hoping that uh, we will see these again next year and I also have seen some people posting some of the contents in D stash groups. So if you see anything that you really love today and want to try to get your hands on, I hope that you'll be able to track one of them down. So I'm excited. I've managed to avoid spoilers so far. So this is going to be a total surprise for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now, um, this has literally been sitting for, I don't even know when this came in a few weeks, at least. Um, and I was actually out of town when it came in. And so I was like, well, I'm not going to try to do an unboxing right when it comes in. Um, I will just go ahead and save it for maybe December 1st. <laughs> and I was like, maybe I'll decide that I want to do it like actual advent calendar style and open it like one day at a time. Um, and I know some people will start their advent calendars. I've seen people talk about this. Some people will start them on December 1st and some of them will, some people will start their advent calendars like and have it like countdown leading up to the days to Christmas, but this has 12 days in it. So um, I guess you're, you'll have to decide what you want to do with that. We've got our cute ribbon here. Ooh, there's some info on the back about the contents. Um, so mild spoilers here, I suppose. This is a really, really, really cute box. So do I have to actually, I do have to untie it to open it up. This is such cute packaging and everything. Oh my gosh, <laughs> how fun is this? You guys, I am so darn excited, I can't even. Uh, so this going forward, you're going to see spoilers. I'm gonna go in order throughout the days, but you are going to see full spoilers on everything inside this kit. So this is your last chance to click away if you don't wanna see what's inside here. Um, if you have one for yourself and you're wanting to be surprised, please, please, please don't watch this video. So here we go. We will start with day number one, which that was the other thing I saw people asking is like, do we start at 12 and count down to one or start at one? Ooh, cute. You guys, I've never seen them package these like this. <gasps> Look, we've got two little jars of ABs. Do you guys think that they're going to start selling ABs individually? <gasps> That's so fun. And of course they're red and green. It says specifically here, color code 108 AB, color code 115 AB, Diamond Art Club. Are you gonna start selling individual jars of ABs for us? Cause that would be super fun. That is day one. What a fun way to start off the advent calendar season. Love. And you know Diamond Art Club's ABs are gonna be fantastic quality too. Number two, you guys, the size of this makes me think that this is probably gonna be a kit. Let's take a look. I don't really wanna completely bust up. Here we go. Let's do this instead. Well, it looks like you could just peel up the, the whole front if you wanted to, but I don't wanna do that. Ooh, that you guys, I see a kit. How little is this kit gonna be? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is so, Cute Christmas unicorn by Azindian Lani and round diamonds. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Uh, so it's little nine by 12 inches or 22 by 30 or 22.7 by 30.8 centimeters. And let me just open this up and I want to show you really quick at least the canvas. I'm not going to do like a full unboxing, but I'm like. I want to see it. This is so cute. You guys, I love having some snack size kits in my stash to work on so that they're not all giant. This is going to be a really fun one. So if you're opening this like at the towards the beginning of the month, you could work on this. Maybe you could enhance it with the red and green ABs that came in day one. I feel like that's a thing you could do. I'm trying not to totally mess up the nails. All right. So, oh, interesting. It does come with the older toolkit. I'll leave that in there. 
There's your logbook sticker. I'm gonna keep this really brief because the main thing I wanna do is get through the advent calendar with you guys. Let's just take a really quick look at the canvas and the colors. Oh my gosh, it's so little and cute. This is super beginner friendly or a super a cute little snack size kit. Okay, so this already does come with ABs, a red and green AB. So you wouldn't necessarily have to use the red and green ones that came in that, uh, in day one, but 13 colors, that's gonna be so cute. And then here's our drill card. Oh my gosh, it comes with a metallic. One of their um, iridescent drills, I think is what they're calling their metallics. So fun, so we get a metallic and some of the red and green. The metallic is here kind of on the forelock and the stars in the background are the metallic. <gasps> so cute. So that's Christmas unicorn. That was the canvas that came in day two. This really is like Christmas, you guys. Okay, so we did day one, day two. Okay, day three. What do we think it's gonna be from the shape? A pen maybe? I think maybe a pen is my guess. See, I don't even remember. I just looked at the back of the box and I still don't remember exactly what all the kit contents were. <gasps> yes, we have a pen. Is it green and white? Oh my gosh. Let's see. Like, I'm gonna get it out. I wanna see what this looks like. <laughs> now, I like that Diamond Art Club does offer these diamond painting pens because um, if you're like me, the skinny basic pens that come with the kits aren't quite as comfortable to hold, but oh my gosh, how perfect for Christmas. It's so green and sparkly. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. So this will be definitely a lot more ergonomic to hold than the, um, the basic pen that comes with your kit. So that was one pen that was included. That was day three. Day four, this size, I am not sure about what this is gonna be. I have to find something to do with this box after I'm done. <gasps> Cute stickers. This is new, you guys. How fun is that? So this looks like it comes with three stick or six stickers inside. Oh my gosh. I love the Diamond Art Club is branching into some other kinds of little diamond painting options. <gasps> what kinds of, oh my gosh, and they're all special drill too. These are the kinds of things that you might see from like other companies, but I am stoked to be seeing them from Diamond Art Club. <gasps> Look at how cute. Oh my gosh, I'm totally gonna work on these with my kiddos. And I love that they have the bigger size diamonds. That's easier for little hands to place. We have so many different colors. That is so fun. Diamond Art Club, I love it. Love, love, love. This is like such a fun set of surprises. All right, number five. Ooh, this big one. Let's see. I have a guess. Did this include greeting cards? That's my guess. Come on. Yes, he. It's like real flat. I bet that box goes right up to the top. All right. I don't know why I'm trying so hard not to just completely destroy these, but. <laughs> Like, it's too pretty. <gasps> Cute. Oh my gosh. A diamond painting card, a Christmas card. It includes an envelope and the colors and all of your tools and everything. Let's take a look though. I wanna open up everything. Did you know that, yeah, you can use stabby tweezers to like get through those, those stickers. <laughs> so um, all the toolkit and stuff is in there. Here's the pretty envelope. Now, just general reminder, especially if you live in the US, if you have a square envelope, especially if you have a heavy, like a heavier than usual envelope, you're gonna have to pay extra postage. But square shapes, for whatever reason, they charge you more postage on. <gasps> That's so cute. Okay, so it is a partial, uh, which means that some of it has diamonds on it, some of it doesn't. So the background obviously is just um, regular paper. And then there's the drill field, the cute little Santa, Merry Christmas. And then you can write on the inside. So fun, even the back is kind of like a holo effect. It looks like it has some special drills too, which is super cute. Just take a really quick look. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, so that's those like snowflakes in the background. The snowflakes in the background kind of around the edges are gonna be that pretty like pearlescent AB, or, um, special drill. 
<gasps> Love it. Now, Diamond Art Club also has some other greeting cards available on their website for purchase. I don't think they have the Christmas one, but they have some other ones that are really cute. So that is a really fun inclusion. <laughs> Number six up here. Okay, so maybe this will be another like smaller accessory. So if you guys have gotten one of these advent calendars, I assume that you either don't mind spoilers or you've already opened yours. <gasps> Washi tape. Yes. You guys know, I mean, goodness, my channel name is Diamonds and Washi. Give me all the washi tape, please. <laughs> See these prints. I'm sure they're holiday themed. Cute. So we have some... Cardinals saying happy holidays. I love this red ornament one. And then some like just cute Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let it snow. Joy to the world. And I like to use washi tape to section off my canvases. And I also will use it like around the border of my canvas as well. Because uh, sometimes there's a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. I like the box this came into. That's so cute. Uh, so I love washi tape. You can find all kinds of things to use it for. <laughs> all right. So day number seven. Probably another accessory of some sort. <gasps> cute! How many times is that gonna be my exact reaction? I think all things Christmas are cute, I can't help it. We have a cute little bag of minders, Christmas themed minders. Okay, it looks like the magnet came off of this one. Maybe slipped off, sometimes that happens. You guys, if you have super glue or I have like E6000, I'm just gonna glue this right back on. Not a huge deal. Let's just instead look at how adorable these are. They're like a thicker quality than the ones that come in the toolkits. They're like a lot fancier, I feel like. Those are so adorable. I love those. Now I am also a cover minder collector and I like to use cover minders both to look at because they're pretty <laughs> and also to hold back the plastic cover on the section of the canvas that I'm working on. So you guys, we're over halfway through the advent calendar because there's 12 days on here. Let's find out what's behind door number eight. If I can get it to open. Oh, more cute little, little special kits. Oh my gosh. So a diamond painting ornament kit. Let's take a look at what's inside. So it's going to have three ornaments with hanging ribbons. Toolkit not included. It does specify that much. So maybe it's assuming if you're like just getting it with this, that you'll have a toolkit from one of the other projects maybe. But here are, we've got a little snowman. It's double, oh no, it's not double-sided. I'm sorry. And we have a Christmas tree and a gingerbread man. Oh my gosh. Those are so cute. Ooh, are we gonna have star-shaped special drills? Let's take a quick look. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay, so we, oh, these are the ribbons to hang them with because there's a little like hole at the top of each one. And then look, you guys, we have some star-shaped special drills. And we only need, let me see, we only need two. Two for this Christmas tree and none on the others. Best believe I'm going to be saving the rest for something cute. Then we've got a variety of crystals and oversized special drills in here as well. Another really kid-friendly kit. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have so, so, so much fun with my kids this holiday season. My oldest has done a couple of these, like, smaller projects like the stickers that I opened with you guys that's really I think up his alley and that's probably what he'll be more interested in these ornaments but heck I'm gonna save these ornaments for myself those would be so cute I need like a little diamond painting tree so that was behind door number eight door number nine okay where did I put the there they are. door number nine is up here this is seriously like Christmas came early. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so fun. Oh, I don't have any of this. So they included some release paper, which they do sell on their website. Um, release paper is safe to put down directly on the glue on your painting. So here's some instructions on how to use. Peel off the original cover of your diamond painting. Apply the bottom of the release paper down onto the adhesive section of the diamond painting. Um, so the side that does not include a logo and then use as much as much as needed to cover your artwork. So this is smaller size. I have to double check. I think that they sell a larger size on their website as well, but this is three by four inches. Um, and there's a hundred pieces in here. So 
I actually have not tried out Diamond Art Club's release paper before, so this is gonna be fun to have and to try. <sighs> A little bit of everything. This is so, so darn fun. Okay, so there's only three doors left. Door number 11, or 10 here. Oh, nice. Okay, so I have tried one of these, but I'm excited to have another one. They included one of their metal single placers, um, which it is made of stainless steel. And um, the reason that people, including myself, enjoy these stainless steel placers is that with diamond painting over time, especially if you are a heavy presser, sometimes the end of the regular pens, pen tips, they're just made of brass. A lot of times they'll warp and they'll bend, but stainless steel will not. So um, I really like working with these and you can buy these individually from the website. You can also buy multi-placers. Um, I just got some to try from there as well. So that was day number 10, day number 11. I'm guessing we're gonna have another pen. Do we think it's gonna be red since the first pen was green? That's gonna be my guess. Yep, I spy red. <laughs> so you guys, just like the other one, it was um, green in the middle with white on either end. It looks like this one is gonna be red in the middle with white on either end. You can kind of see it down there. I'm not gonna pull it out. But yay, two of these new pens. And oh yes, I forgot to point out in the first one, there are two plastic multi-placer options that are included in the box as well. So you make sure you open it all the way up so that you find those. All right, you guys, we are down to the last day, and I know that this one is gonna be a kit, but I have no idea what kind of kit it's going to be. I just know that I am really, really curious, and if it's anywhere near as cute as the unicorn, I'm gonna be thrilled. I mean, either way, I'm gonna be thrilled. This is just a really fun surprise. All right, let me get over here on this side. Ideally without, yeah, there we go. Glad I kept these tweezers handy. Oh my gosh, you guys, this other kit. <laughs> Look, it's a gnome. <laughs> so Festive Gnome by Eugeniagra. I am sure that I absolutely butcher that name and I'm so sorry. Uh, but nine by nine inches or 22.7 by 22.7 centimeters. Let's take a really quick look. I'm telling you, these, these pokey tweezers are good for a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful. Don't stab yourself. So Festive Gnome. This one also has round diamonds. I feel like a lot of these beginner size, these beginner friendly kits, they end up putting round, um, doing with round diamonds because those tend to technically be more beginner friendly. I'm going to guess, I've noticed that with some of these really small kits that they've been doing these older tool kits, I bet it's because the newer tool kits just wouldn't fit in those boxes. I think they're just too wide. All right, let's take a look at this cutie. Oh my gosh, it's so little and perfect. Oh my gosh, so we're gonna have a red and a green AB in this one as well. That is so cute. Perfect little snack size kit. Lots of color blocking of that background color. And um, it looks like we'll have just the red and green ABs for our special drills. But look at how festive, look at that mint color for the background. So, 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 so cute. Oh my gosh. So that is the second kit that was included in the advent calendar. Again, it's Festive Gnome. Both of these kits are licensed from the artist, just like everything is from Diamond Art Club. They license all of their kits, all the artwork. But oh my gosh, you guys, that was... <laughs> That was Diamond Art Club's 12-day advent calendar, which they called 12 Days of Sparkle. I feel incredibly spoiled. I feel like the, um, I don't remember what the exact price point was now. Was it $100? I feel like the value is absolutely there for everything that you got. You got two kits, two complete kits, two pens. You got the Forever Stainless Steel Placer, some release paper, the ornament kit and the sticker kit, cover minders, washi tape, a card kit, and then some ABs. Yeah, that is absolutely well worth the value like completely i think that the value is there on this so you guys i hope you enjoyed getting into this spoiler tastic 12 days of sparkle unboxing and like i said if you saw anything especially like the kits or anything like that that you're like ooh, i'd really love to try to get my hands on that kit myself or those accessories check out some of the d stash groups on facebook i think some people are 
and he's stashing some of the parts of the advent calendar that they might not necessarily want for themselves. But I feel like I just packed 12 days of excitement into one. <laughs> so thank you for going along on that fun ride with me. I hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that was included. And um, let's let's really hope and put all the good vibes out there that we get to see another advent calendar from Diamond Art Club last year because dang, they do it well. <laughs> so thanks to Diamond Art Club for doing these. Just so you guys know, um, while I am an affiliate for Diamond Art Club, I did purchase this myself. I did have to hop on at release time with all of you and um, rush through checkout to snag one of these. So I did buy this myself, but I still want to let you know that, that affiliate relationship is there. So um, anyway, I hope you guys had fun, like I said. And if you want to see lots more diamond painting content for me, hit the subscribe button down there. I would love to have you as part of my community here. Also hit the thumbs up on your way out if you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for joining me. I hope that you have a wonderful start to your holiday season and stay safe and stay well. Stay well. Have a wonderful day, my friends. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.